Today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to mine Avian Coin. Now, Avian Coin is a CPU and a GPU mineable coin, but right now it's really profitable to mine on CPUs. As it says here, a dual algorithm POW secured blockchain designed for low cost and user friendly assets, tokenization, and management. When we scroll down, you can see that it's GPU plus CPU mineable, 50 50 on the blocks on these two different algorithms for CPU and GPU. Now, when we look at the profitability on the CPU mining calculator, we have the hash rates put in for a 5950X. Now, I know this is a really powerful CPU and it has good hash rates, but it won't really differ too much for your CPU, I don't think. We have a power cost input of 10 cents per kilowatt hour. And as you can see, when we click calculate, Avian coin is at the top of the list. We have a profit of 31 cents and a revenue of 59 cents. So we're kind of making around half for what the electricity cost is in terms of CPU mining. So I'm going to show you how to both CPU mine and GPU mining, but mainly going to focus on the CPU mining because that's profitable. The GPU mining isn't as profitable. So the first thing we want to do is go back to the Avian Network website and we want to click on start mining. Now I'm going to leave a link in the description for all the websites that are used in this. So you guys can just quickly get into the websites and download all the stuff needed. So we want to get a wallet from the Avian network. Now you can use hot wallets on exchanges, but many pools don't like you actually mining to exchange wallets. So on the left side here, we have downloads for Windows, Mac and Linux. We're going to go with Windows today. So if you cl just click download, it should just bring up a exe file and then just run through the setup of the miner. It's going to ask you to put in seed phrases and stuff like that. I'm not going to show it in this video. It's basically click through a bunch of things. It's really simple. When you have it actually open, it works like Bitcoin Core, so you have to download all the transactions on the network before you can start seeing your transactions in the wallet. When we click on this one year and 12 weeks behind, we can see that it's actually starting to sync the headers. So this is what it does in Bitcoin Core. At the top, it says recent transactions may not yet be visible and therefore your wallet's balance might be incorrect. This information will be correct once your wallet has finished synchronizing with the Avian network as detailed below. So you basically have to download this. I believe it's around four gigabytes. It's going to take around a day or two. For Bitcoin, it takes normally like upwards of 30 days to download the whole entire transaction list. So in around a day or two, you'll be able to see all your transactions on the network. But for now, you just want to let it download. And then when you open it up again, it'll do like a quick five minute download of the remaining transactions that haven't been downloaded. And then it will allow you to see your balance on the network. So if we click hide here, we want to actually get an address. So when we click on receive this tab by here, request payments, you can generate as much wallets as you want. So if we click on request payment, it's going to bring up and generate a new wallet address. Now, if you want to keep using the same wallet, then you don't actually have to keep requesting a wallet address. You just click close and then you click on reuse existing receiving addresses. And then if you click on request payment, it's going to direct you to which address you want to use. So let's just take this top one and we'll click on copy. So that's going to be our top address that we're going to actually mine into for the Avian coin. Now, the next thing for the setup is we want to choose a mining pool to mine to. So if we go on mining pool stats, we can see there's a bunch of pools for Avian coin. Now, this is for the CPU mineable side. It's a bit different for the GPU mineable side, but because our plant actually offers both of them, we're going to be using our plant today. And it also has the most blocks on the network and the most amount of hash rate. So you're going to be getting daily payouts quicker if you're using our plant pool for both CPU and GPU mining. When we click on our plant pool, it's going to take us to a dashboard. Basically, this is where we want to download our miner. And then once we've done that, we can actually run through the whole setup for CPU. So normally it will display the miners and you just want to click on the connect tab here. And then if we look to our right side, they have a list of miners. This only has one miner and that's the CPU miner our plant for Windows. If we click this, it's going to open up a GitHub page. Now they update these regularly. So we're going to download which one corresponds to our operating system. If you click on the Windows one, it's going to download the Windows one in the corner there. Now, once you've unzipped these files, it's going to look a bit like this. You're going to have a bunch of CPU minor executables, and then you're going to have a bunch of Windows batch files. As you can see, they've got them for all different CPU mineable coins. If we scroll up to the top, we can actually find the Avian miner file already there for us. And we're just going to input different text into this file. If we click right click and edit, it's going to give us a Windows protected. You can run it anyway. And it's going to basically open up a command line. 
Now the command line has to be changed for different pools and we're actually gonna get into how to do this now. So our plant pool actually offers a really easy way to set this up and it's down here on this connect tab. All you have to do is choose your miner, which is gonna be CPU miner, operating system, so Windows, Linux, or Mac, nearest stratum. So Europe is obviously covering a bunch of Europe. America will cover Canada and a bit of Mexico. Asia Pacific will cover a large amount of Asia and Australia. So we're in Europe, so we're just gonna click on Europe. Now, next we wanna get our wallet address. So we go back into the wallet, we can click on this top one, click copy, and then if we go back, we can just paste it into our wallet address here. And then next we wanna type in our worker name. You don't actually have to put one in, but I'm gonna put SS for my initials. And then it's gonna basically give us a command file that we can copy and paste, and it will start the miner for us. Down here at the bottom, it shows miner script. So we just wanna copy this text, and then we want to open up that file that we opened up earlier for the minor avion. Then we want to actually select all this and then just click paste and paste the text over all of this text. That's basically how you set up CPU mining. Now you want to exit and save the file. You want to bring up the file again so we have it here. And then all you have to do is double click and it will start mining on your CPU. So you'll know when it's actually started mining because it will confirm a share on the network. Now this could take a while on CPUs. GPUs tend to do it a little bit quicker because they're more powerful, so they get more shares on the network. But for CPUs, it will normally take around two, three minutes. So I'm gonna let this go until it actually confirms a share on the network, and then I'll show you how that looks in the minor file. So right there it says share submitted, accepted one out of one, and then it shows another share accepted two out of two. So we actually have shares accepted on the network, which means that our CPU has started mining. Next, I wanna show you how to look at your wallet and your miner, so how the progress is doing. So all you have to do on our plant pool is click on my miner, go to the wallet, and then we wanna get our wallet address again. Click on copy and just paste it into here. And if you click enter, it should take you to the wallet. As it says here, it'll show the name, the difficulty, and the hash rate that you're displaying on the network. So you have to submit shares to actually get this to show. So it could take a while before your shares are submitted but then you can go on and look at your income by day, income by month. So that's the CPU mineable side of it. Now for GPUs, it's gonna be the nearly exact same thing. All you have to do is go over to the right side of this R plant pool page. As you can see, there's two Avian coins here. If we click on the X16RT, it's gonna take us to the same kind of dashboard. As it says here, there's only one miner. Now this miner doesn't actually work. You can't actually download it, but if you go back to the Avian mining website, you can see that there are mining softwares that you can download, and one of them is T-Rex Miner. If you click on T-Rex Miner, it'll actually take you to the latest version of T-Rex Miner, and you can download whichever one corresponds to your operating system. So once you unzip the T-Rex file, it's gonna give you a bunch of batch files like it did for the CPU Miner. Now it is a bit different as it doesn't already have an Avian one set up, but we're gonna actually have to change that in the batch file. So we're just gonna pick the top one and we're gonna right click and hit edit the same way that we did with CPU mining. We're gonna click run anyway and it's gonna give us this basically command line. So then we wanna go back to our plant pool. As you can see here, we're on the connect tab at the top and we're gonna go to this minor config, the same that we did with the CPU. Now it doesn't actually offer T-Rex as the way to mine. So you're gonna have to just type in the multi-rig and then you're just gonna go through Windows, Europe, and type in your address here and your worker name. Now it's gonna give you the same minor script and the only thing we need to do now is change one thing about this. So you copy this and paste it into this text. And now all we wanna change is the wild rig. We wanna change that to T-Rex so it knows to mine to T-Rex minor. Once you've done that, you can just exit out and save. Bring up that file again, like we did just there. And it's gonna be the top one. You probably wanna rename this to you know, avian mining or something like that. And if you just double click, it should open it and start mining for you. As you can see here, it's recognized a bunch of GPUs and it started to confirm a bunch of shares on the network. So that's how you GPU mine for avian. Now all you have to do on the actual network is set up them both at the same time and all you have to do is open them at the same time. Now for me, I can't really show this because my recording's running off the CPU and I don't basically wanna crash the recording. So as you can see here, it's confirming a bunch of shares on the network. Now to actually see your progress, all you have to do is the same thing. You wanna hit on my miner and get your wallet address again, copy that and paste it in here. And it should show you your hash rate. And as you can see here, we have our name, our hash rate and basically our income per day. So we've got that all set up. 
So all you have to do is both open up the GPU file and the CPU file if you want to mine on both of them. Now, it will take a little bit of hash rate away from your CPU to mine on both because it's actually executing and communicating with your GPU, so it's taking up a bit of power. But for overall, CPU mining is going to be more profitable. So that's it for the video, guys. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, any websites that are used are linked in the description, so you can go click around and you can get to the websites quicker.